Come on in here if you're ready. There we go. There we go. We made it through this week, y'all. We made it through. We made it through in a big way. And tonight, we're going to break through tonight, y'all. I hope y'all ready, man. I hope y'all really ready tonight. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get on in here. Let's go get it on in, my friends. What's up, Erica Martinez? B, wish you would. B is good wood. There you go. B is good wood. Tanya's wish you would. There you go. Natalie Cole. Value Val Bates. Come on in here, y'all. Mike W's Art Lab. Man, happy holidays, everybody. You get some rest of the day, Mike. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Leandra. Leandra, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Y'all know me and Leandra, we passing notes in class. We joning on everybody. What's up, Bambi? Dawn. How y'all feel? Y'all ready? What's up, Cherie? Merry Christmas, Bonnie Richard. I know, y'all. I know. It's been a long week. Connie Barnes. What's up, Connie? Mwah. Thanks for that cash app, Connie. Value Val. Y'all come on in here and hit that like. What's up, Marisha J? We winning. Hey, Connie, we win. Oh, some of y'all going to get it tonight. What's up, Jesse? That was good for nine months. Me and my daughter doing great. Hurt my neck. Narc wife said. Woo, a week later, as a clean, bought all her bags. Won't leave. Woo, boy. See? <laughs> hey, just tell the truth, man. Tell the truth. You was being nice. You was being nice. You was chilling. She said, you letting me back in. I know what you want. Yeah, I'm going to clean you up, all right. Yeah. Yeah, champ. She's like, but I'm a, you, you're not going to like how I clean up, though. <laughs> loving life. What's up, loving life? Deanna just said my mission is to help other young women heal. And there's not alone. There is life on the up. Good God. Talk to him, Leandra. Talk to him. Let him know. Let them know. It's life on it's real life on the other side. We must, we will, we can heal. Everybody hit that like button. Come on. Hey Ariana. How you feeling, Ariana? We good? <laughs> it's Jay. What's up, Raylene? Love and life, no narc net. Carol C, the Aquarian. What's up, Val? Joyful Survivor. Connie, Keisha Spady, Lisa J. Natalie, what's up, Facebook user? How you feeling? Keisha Spady, Joyful Survivor. Lucy Lou, Monique Gopper. Uh oh. They playing commercials and everything, y'all. That's how YouTube do it. What's up, Natalie? Angie. April. Woo. Come on in. Hit the like button now. What's up, Lucy Lou? Uh-huh. Demetria. April Peterson. 
Keisha Spady. Come on in here, y'all. Come on in and hit that like button. What's up, Mika? It's Jay. What's up, honey? Sun Cat. There she go. Little pink bubbles. Come on in. Uh-huh. Ed Marie. I see you. I see you. What's up, Orlando? Kathleen Kirby. Kirby! <laughs> Come on in here, y'all. We about to get to it. The queen is in the house. Mm-hmm. What's up, Lando? V Sexy, I see you. Come on, come on, come on through. We say her uh, Aquarian. <laughs> Did I call my own name right there? Goodness gracious. Aquarian said... I've been feeling emotional. That narc disturbed my peace after having a baby with a woo. The gaslight and the triangulation was painful. How do I heal from this? Because I despise. We're gonna get you out of it. You see the title tonight, huh? Before we get started, what's up, Narissa? <clears throat> Before we get started, everybody. First question is. After you hit the like button, I want to see everybody in the chat. I want to see everybody. I want you to just raise your hand if you tired of being tired, if you sick of being sick, if you done with being done with this narc. Hit that like button and let's get this thing going. What's up, Indira China Dog, Kathleen Kirby. What's up, Debbie? Bonnie, Richard, Ed Marie, Tina. Oh, what's up, Shay Love? I see you, Keisha, 253. Narissa. Huh? What's up, Robbie Love? Hey, Kayla P. Raise them hands, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's up, sunshine? <sighs> tired of being tired, sick of being sick, done with being done, finished with being unhappy, ready to start a new beginning, ready to live, to laugh, to enjoy life. What's up, Tiffany? Hey, Andrea. Zing Bio. What's up, Andrea? I asked the question. I asked the question because just the other day, guys, I, I was actually doing a session. And the person asked me, man, how did you get here? How did you get where you're at? How do you get mentally in this place? How do you get to glow again? How do you get to breathe again, love again, to be happy, to smile? How did you do it? How? What's up, Andrea? And hey, Nancy Franklin, this is exactly what we talk about. What's up, Dr. T, PhD, comedian, lady, lady D. This is exactly, this is exactly what I said. What's up, Chido? I said, I got to a place where I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was through with being through. I was done with being done. My, I, I got to a place, y'all, I'm telling you, I had an Iron Mike Tyson moment. I said, damn it, starting right now, right now, I refuse. I refuse 
to go one more day being unhappy. I refuse. Listen to me. I absolutely refuse to go one more moment unhappy, thinking about this, obsessing about something I have no control over. I refuse to spend another day of my life like this. I refuse to give this enemy my life for another day, another moment. I refuse. I will not. I cannot. I will not go one more moment in this. I am not doing this anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. This pain stops now. The pain stops now. Because I'm not doing this anymore. I am not giving this situation one more moment of space in my mind. This, this situation does not control me. It is not who I am. I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. I said, God, you said you were handling, man. Handle that. Handle that. I'm not giving this situation one more moment. I'm done with being done. I'm tired of being tired. I'm sick of being sick. This stops today. It stops right now. It's, I'm not giving this any more of my life. I'm not giving it any more of my life. This is over. It is over. I'm not giving anyone. I'm not giving anything. I'm not doing anything that is going to Keep me in living in this space. I'm not waking up tomorrow thinking about this crap. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not giving this no more in my life. I said I want to be free. And right now, damn it, I'm going to be free of this. I'm not going another day with this. I did not deserve this. And I'm not staying in it. I'm not staying in it. I'm not giving this power over me one more moment of my life. I'm not giving it nothing. I'm not giving it nothing. I absolutely decided. I absolutely decided that this is it. At this very moment, at this very moment, I decided this is it. I'm done. It's over. It's over. You don't have any more power. You're not getting one more moment of my time. You're not getting anything. You can't have any more of my headspace. You can't have any more of anything. It's a wrap. It's done. It's over. The night, the question of the night. Here go my lovely co-host tonight. The question of the how you doing there, Alicia? What's up, Hario? you all Don't want to interrupt. Keep going. Keep going, guys. How are we, you, Huddle? We, that's right. We're going to keep on going. You came up in here looking all fabulous and glamorous on us. <laughs> Go hey, ahead. Christmas. Go I'm on, getting on. Christmas ready, like all of you guys, okay? We're getting Christmas ready without the narc taking over, okay? Hey. hey, that's what we're talking about tonight. We're talking yeah. about being done with being done. Yes. It's about sick, being sick of being sick. Guys, we talking about uh, if you are tired of it, because it's going to keep on eating at you. It's going to be at you every single day. 
It ain't going to let up. You're going to be sitting there like, man, I've been dealing with this. Guys, I'm telling you, I've talked to people that have ruminated for six, seven years not knowing how to get out of this. I was talking to a client of mine the other day. I was like, dude, listen, you got to go no contact, man. I I've been telling you this for over a year now. And you you got your mind made up. You go. You got another way. Yeah. Your your uh, that way is not working. As a matter of fact, a year later, I want. Uh, good God, a year and a half later, I've been coaching this guy for a year and a half. He absolutely refuses to go no contact. He's I can't do it. I just can't do it. What's what's his reason behind it, Hario? If you don't mind we me got, asking, we got a kid. He said like, we got a kid. We got a son. And listen, listen, guess what, though? It's to the point now where it's about to turn legal for him, mm -hmm. turn legal, and, and it's going to be against him. Oh. And she's cutting him off now. She's making, she everything I've been telling them for a year and a half, now she's doing it to him. She's making the visits so that, dude, no, we, we're not going to see each other on the visits. No. You won't see me again. Yeah. No, we'll deal with the mediator. Everything I've told him for a year and a half, he would not do it. And he's and it's absolutely happening to him on the opposite end. This dude is in a far worse place now than he was a year and a half ago. And I'm saying that to say, guys, I tell y'all all the time, do not wish ill on that narc. Don't do it. Yeah. If they're doing good, let be happy. I'm not saying go out here and be cheering for them. I'm saying leave them be. Just leave them be. Okay, they're doing all right. Good, good, because they can't blame any of that crazy stuff going on in their life on me, right? That's right. Don't go after them with hatred and animosity. Don't. Don't wish bad things on them guys. Whatever you wish on that narc is coming back to you. Mm. Do you hear me? Everything that you wish on them is going to come back to you. And right now, again, right now, I was like, dude, why do you want her to lose her job so bad? That is just, that, I, I said, dude, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I, guys, everything I've, I've talked to him about over this last year and a half, we've seen it reverse and come right back to him. He lost his job. Jeez. I, I'm telling I'm, I'm not telling y'all this for nothing. I'm telling you what you put out there. You if you're angry with the narc, go look in the mirror. Stop, stop looking at the narc. Go look in the mirror. Yeah. And look at the person that said, I agree to go along with this lie. I agree to go along with this deception. I agreed to do everything. Guys, I told y'all, man, I got into the place in my life. I just accept everything that was there. I accept responsibility over that entire crazy, foolish mess that I was in. The entire situation. And I take full responsibility for it because the bottom line is I knew better. I was raised better than that crap. I was raised better than to be in some mess like that. I knew better. I'm be better than to be sitting around here in the trash, rolling around in the sewage. I, I, I wasn't raised around that type of triflingness. Right. No, so I knew better. I took, I take full responsibility for that crap because I know better. I know it ain't no reason under the sun. I cannot come up with one legitimate reason to stay in some mess like that. Not one. And guys, I stayed in that mess for 25 years. Do you hear me? I stand before you and I admit it was all my fault. It was all my fault. I knew better. I knew when I knew when the lies was there. I knew when the manipulation, I saw the cheating. I saw it all. Guys, I have no excuse to dealing with that foolishness. It's pure, utter foolishness. And absolutely 
You mm. got in, in order to get out of this, you got to be tired of it. You got to be sick of it. You got to be sick of being sick of it. Guys, ain't you're not going to get out of this wishing bad on somebody else. That that ain't going to help you out. Yeah. It's it's not going to help you out. Walk out of this with your dignity. I'm not I'm not sitting here telling you, oh yeah, I, I'm I'm to blame for how somebody mistreated me. No, I'm I'm not telling you to say nothing like that. I'm telling you that you knew better. You knew better. You knew that person was trifling. You knew you you saw something cruddy and you was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. They cut from a different cloth. They cut from a different cloth. They cut from some mess that I wouldn't even use as toilet paper. Okay. You know, Mario, like I'm just the, the realness, like the gulliness of your testimony right now is hitting me. And I think everybody in the huddle right in their soul. Okay. Because the fact of the matter, the truth has always resided in us. And until we take full accountability, that's when empowerment comes. The truth of the matter is, Hario, we are the CEOs of our own lives. Who told us that we weren't? Why did we just take what was given to us? Who cares if they got you flowers? Who cares if they called you a hundred times a day? Who cares if they, you know, appeared like they were going to save you out of a bad situation when in fact they were looking for you to save them? Let me tell you, they don't want to be saved. They don't want to turn their life around. They don't want to really have another chance with you. They want to be a, an abuser. They want to be a predator. They want to be a gold digger. They want to be every everything under the sun. That's to antithesis to what you ever wanted. Mm. And so honestly, this is a harsh truth, especially in this season where some of us are, are going through the ruminating the, the anguish, the loneliness and all this stuff. Listen, it's time to get gangster with it, guys. Okay. You got to look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? It was you. This is not about condemnation though. Let me be very clear. We're not condemning ourselves or condemn, but you take the power back. You take it back to say, listen, I have the power of choice. I didn't choose well, maybe in 2020, 2021, 2022, 2020, whatever year. But this year, God says he's going to restore the years that the canker worm stole. You know what a canker worm does? It eats through the flesh. Some of you have open wounds from this thing, okay? And Ooh. God says, I'm going to restore your beauty. I'm going to restore your chastity. I'm going to restore your money. I'm going to restore everything. Because the enemy comes to rob, steal, kill, and destroy. And I'm going to substitute it. The narcissist came to rob you, to steal from you, to kill you. And not just to kill you, but to destroy you as if you didn't exist. Somebody, yeah. sorry, Harvey, somebody wrote up further in the chat said, how do I pray for forgiveness? This is how I, I conceptualize this, guys. God, God wants us to get back to the place where we were untouched. If you want you to be restored and you start to forgive, and I mean, that doesn't mean that you remove accountability from the narcissist, but it means that you, you remove, you say, you know what, devil, you have no dominion. You have no power and authority to dictate my destiny. Okay. And right at that moment, you say, you know what, I'm going to forgive this narcissist as if they, they didn't even put their hands on me as if I'm going to act as though they didn't make me go bankrupt. I'm not going to put on the spirit of poverty in my mindset. I'm not going to believe that there's no other person out there for me to connect to that God has not ordained for me to be with. You start to confuse that devil. Oh my gosh. The Bible says that the, your enemies will turn around and bless you. This is what Hario is saying. Don't wish that they don't have no money. That's your money. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Come on. Okay, listen, you no. celebrate because God is watching y'all. God wants to know if you know exactly who you are and who you belong to. We don't belong to no devils. Every devil has a deadline in your life tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single devil has a deadline. That narcissist, don't be waiting for the Hoover, baby. The time is up. Game over. The huddle and demon slayers ain't playing no games. That's all I have to say right there, Hario. I feel it. fire. That's it. That's that's wow. what we came in here with tonight, y'all. Look here. Look here. Guys, we're going into a new year. 
We're going yeah. into Christmas on Sunday. Yeah. The following Sunday, we we starting a new year. Yes. Y'all do in, does anybody in here think that this narc got something nice prepared for you? <laughs> do you think Woo! that they even thinking right. of how they can accommodate you, how they can help you through this time of year? Do y'all know how high depression is this time of year? My God. Y'all, do y'all know who causing it? Huh? Who Come causing on. it? Come Tell on. Them. Come on, man. It ain't causing itself. That devil is, man, ever present right there in your face trying to make you depressed. Want you to feel sad. Want you to feel defeated. Want you to feel down. Man, we're not doing none of that. I told y'all, this is it. Who's tired of being tired? Who's sick of being sick of it? Are you done with being done with this mess? Done. It's time to live better. It's time to elevate. Guys, this devil cannot defeat you. They cannot destroy you. They Listen, guys, you can only do it to yourself. That's it. You can only do this to yourself. I don't care what the scoreboard say. Yeah. At the end of this, you're going to win. Win, baby. At All the day, end of this, you are going to win. I don't care what they're doing. I don't care what they got. I don't care how it looks. Woo! You're going to win. All you got to do is keep on standing. Keep on fighting. You got to be like Mike Tyson in your mind. Like, I refuse to lose. I refuse to lay down. I refuse to go through this. I refuse to be unhappy. I refuse to give this devil this victory over me. He cannot defeat me. Can't do it. You Listen, got to the have fact your mind made up, guys. You got to have your mind made up all the time. Your mind, understand this. It's not the narcissist is there to attack not just your soul, but your mind, because your mind can play tricks on you. It's through your mind that you stay connected to the one and true living God. Yes, it's through your mind that you start to make decisions. That devil wants you in utter confusion at all costs. Some of you are confused right now. It's Christmas time. You're like, maybe I should have them over for dinner. You know, I'm not gonna, I, I'm just gonna be, you know, hospitable. You know, that's the father of my children. That's the mother of my children. And you don't realize that they are we they're weaponizing your goodness. They're weaponizing that empathy that you have. And you have to understand that because if you don't, you will fall for the game. You will fall. And, and like Hario said, if all we do is win, listen, you've got to stand firm in that winning mentality, okay? You've got to watch that enemy when the enemy comes and tries to, the, the narcissist comes to try to fool you. Listen, this is how you're going to know. Can we go into this right now? You're going to know because you're going to test it out. You're going to try that spirit. You're going to call their bluff. I know people right now, I have clients right now who are being threatened or saying, oh, I'm not bringing the kids home for, for, for Christmas. And I said, listen, don't do nothing. What that narcissist is going to do is try to, going to try to create chaos the night before Christmas, the day of Christmas, try to get you to react and respond. And I'm telling you right now, 99.9% .9 of you who are able to stand your ground, you're going to see the enemy's plans crumble in front of your face. Don't get mm -hmm. shook. Stand your ground. Whatever it is concerning, whatever it is, stand your ground. And you will see, you will see that enemy flee from you. The Bible says if you stand against the wiles of the enemy in the evil day, and I don't know about you, y'all, but we're living in some evil times. If you are able to stand firmly on what you know, you will witness that narcissist scurrying and fleeing from you this time. You don't got to pick up your bags and run. They're going to run from you. They're scared of you, boo. Believe that. Guys, listen here, man. I'm not telling y'all something I think. I, I'm not just sitting here trying to be creative. Come on. I'm telling you what I know. 
if God ain't showing you what he doing to your enemy, you don't need to see it. I don't need to see my enemies go through what they, what I know they going through. I don't need to see it. Yeah. I have already felt it. You know when I felt it? I felt it when they was doing it to me. Yes. See, I trust God. I know that God going to give it back. He going to give it back 10 times over. That's the minimum he going to give it. But see, he's such a good God. He might say, I'm going to give them 20. I'm going to give them 30 times what they gave you. But they getting it back. I ain't got to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. And you don't need to see it. Because see, when you see them going through it, when you see that devil being tortured, you know what that devil going to do? That devil going to say, please help me. I, I need you. I ain't got nobody but you. You the only one can help me. You the only one to understand me. You know I love you. You know we made for each other. God put us together. Yes. We're going to say anything. And if you listen, if you listen, that's why I don't want to know. That's why I don't want to know what God doing to him. I don't want to see what God doing to him. Wow. Because I know, because I trust God. I yes. Trust him. I trust him. I know he got this. We're sitting around here waiting for something to happen. So, man, wait to, and then, and, and they doing this. And look, oh, man, they doing that, man. Man, listen, listen. You don't want to, you don't even want to know what God got for them. You don't even want to know. I, listen, y'all, oh, ain't nobody under this, ain't nobody in existence. Ain't nobody in existence. You hear me? There is no such thing. There is nobody in existence that's getting away from God. Ain't nobody getting away from that. Y'all, listen, that dog want to go out here acting a fool, torturing people, abusing people, lying, cheating, stealing, conniving. Let them do what they do. I promise you. I promise you God got this. I promise you. I promise you. Ain't nobody, listen, y'all, ain't nobody got away with nothing. Ain't nobody getting out the room with nothing they ain't paid for. Jeez. Look here. Oof. That devil know, that devil trusts God more than you do. That devil <laughs> trusts God more than you because that devil like know he ain't getting away with it. He know it. He knows his time is short. He knows he's trying to bamboozle and 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 brainwash and whatever he's got to do to bring you with him. And this is why you can't fall for those tactics. Oh my gosh, it's so true, Hario. What you're saying with the you can't even wait. You have to be walking this thing by faith. You have to trust. You know what it is, Hario. We're looking for someone to validate our story. How many of us? If this That's this it. this platform. My platform is there because we knew that that individuals have gone through this require in their healing process validation. But the truth is the only validation we need is from God that we went through it. Even if homegirl or the new supply or the brother over there, you're suspecting like, oh my gosh, are they going through what they're, what, what I'm going through? Well, why does it matter? Why does it matter? If they abused you, you don't even require to know really to solidify the abuse. If you went through it, you went through it, man. And you're worthy enough to look at your own situation to say, you know what, this is what I went through. This is my truth. This is my experience. And I don't need anybody to validate it. I don't need to spend more years looking for the validation either. It's crazy. Listen, y'all. So many of us think that your good deeds are in done in vain. So no. many of y'all, do you think that your good deeds have just been done, and you and then you just been left left hanging? Man, God got you. God got you. 
Amen. He, he got you. He is covering every last one of us. God is covering us, man. Ain't nobody got away with nothing. You don't need to see how God going to destroy somebody. Wow. See, you, we think we know how to punish somebody. Man, God know the perfect punishment for them. See, you, we just thinking of something petty. I'm going to go on the internet and talk. I'm going a, I'm to a go over their house and I'm going to do this. I'm going to tell somebody that they, man, God know what hurt them for real. Yeah. We think we know what hurt them. Really, we know what hurt us. Mm-hmm. We think so that what hurt cool. us hurts them. No. See, when you start working your way back to let me get me together. Let me get my life right. Let me get me right. Get, guys, you're talking about opening up the sky and saying, I want to be this right here. I want my life fresh and clear and clean. And I want to enjoy everything that God has given us on this planet. I just want to enjoy my life. I want to love my life. I want to cherish everything. I want to respect people. I want to love people. I want people to love me. See, the devil don't think like that. The devil don't even talk like that. Yeah. The devil talking about what, the, what oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to buy that. And then I'm going to have this. And, and y'all can't have none when I get this. And, 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 and what y'all not seeing is that when this narc out here getting this and this narc is getting that and they doing this and it's making it look like they living and winning. See, what y'all don't understand is that's it. That, that designer pair of tennis shoes or the bag the narc got, what y'all not seeing is that's it. That's happiness. Their happiness yeah. is I got something you ain't got. That's happiness to them. It's, it's all about jealousy. It's all about envy. The narc is saying, well, well, I got these shoes. Well, I got this car you ain't got. So, so what? I can't afford it. So so what? But I got it and look like I can. And, and what y'all don't see is, shh, Snatch Man about to come get it. They, they can't afford nothing they doing. Nothing. Yeah. Or someone else is paying for it. They not aligned with nothing that's right. Mm. Keep yourself aligned with God. Keep yourself aligned with what with what is right. Because as long as you stay there, you can enjoy your life. Guys, it ain't nothing in this world better than this right up here, your mind. Being free. Tell him again. There ain't nothing in this world. Now, I, I've seen a couple people kind of throw some reaction videos out there when I say that about money. I want y'all to ask the same guy to make that movie or, or that make, keep making a video about the, the people who ain't who say you can't money can't buy you happiness, don't have enough money. Ask him if he can buy peace. Ask him if he got an amount of money that he can buy peace because the more money you got, the less peace you're going to be, that you're going to have. Yeah. And the more crap balls you might attract. Ain't nothing but devils <laughs> and straight up thieves around you when you got some money. Trust that. Ask some people with money what's around them. That's why when you meet people and they stars, why y'all think they act so arrogant? They act like they so standoffish. Because they got people that walk up to them and, 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 and sucker them into money situations every single day yeah ask that person hey man can all that money buy me some peace can i have peace of mind when i get to that billion mm. ask Elon musk he a billionaire ask him ask all oh, what's the name I, any of these billionaires ask him if it can buy you peace of mind i want to see that video tag me in that one <laughs> for real for real it comes at a cost 
It's come everything to the out here is going to come at a cost. And guys, so is your peace. It's going to have, you're going to have to sacrifice if you want peace. If you want your freedom, if you want your freedom, it's going to cost you. Yeah. You have to do something that makes you uncomfortable. You know, it, you don't want to cut the narc off, but you're going to have to. You're going to have to. Have if to make a choice. Look, even if you don't, if you don't cut them off, they'll eventually cut you off for mm -hmm. not cutting them off. My man, Stephen Martin, thank you, sir. Thanks for that super chat. I said, but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty giveth them understanding. Joe, 38, man, people, please bless your brother. <laughs> thank you, sir. Yes, Stephen, thank yes, you. Indeed, yes, indeed. Aquarian, thanks for the super chat, Aquarian. Aquarian said the narc tried to throw his new baby in my face. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying? They know they know what they're doing. We act, we literally will see stuff like that, and then we'll ask, do he really know what he just did? He done not only did he cheat on you and go run off with somebody else had a baby with somebody else and then wants to come back and throw it into your face, throw it in your face like you hating or something. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's this, yeah. And it's the same story. This Ooh. is the same story for so many of us, right? They yes. do, they're dangling something that'll make you may, try to draw you and lure you in to say, well, you know, it should have been me. Uh, maybe uh, this is another Ooh. chance. Maybe it should have been me. Maybe it's my baby. If Maybe I can give them a baby now. They feel like they're going to dangle a bait of like what they retrieve from somebody else or another opportunity, and it, they get off on it. It's exciting to them. Now that, you know, they're, if they put themselves in the middle of the entanglement that they created between you and whoever else, whether you know or not. That's right. It's crazy. That's right. That's right, y'all. That And you know what? Alicia, you you hit it right on the nose. That's exactly how you start to thinking. They done went and had a baby, and now you think, well, well maybe, maybe if I do that. Yeah, you and, and, and even if you already resolved in your mind, you don't want no babies, you don't you didn't want nothing from the narcissist. The minute it looks like they have birthed something, okay, they have started a new business bought a new home, have a new addition to the family, whatever, all you're seeing is just what, like, you don't know what that came, what cost that came at. You don't know what deception took place. You don't know what Ooh. innocent blood was shed. You don't know the corruption that has, uh, uh, that has happened in the background. And this is why we always say, don't, it, the grass doesn't look greener on the other side. You know all the nasty, dirty weeds you have to pull out of your own garden. And now you're finally seeing the fruition of some of those rosebuds, okay? And listen, you're looking at somebody else's garden, you're saying, you don't know that they put poison. You don't know what they're hiding underneath, how many dead bodies are in the soil, <laughs> okay? <laughs> how many, but they're bone collectors, y'all. So listen, let me tell That's you it. something. Hario said it a hundred times. He said, trust mm -hmm. God, trust God that he will bring you to an expected end. Whatever he started in you, the Bible says, he will finish it. Let him finish this chapter. You're going into 2023, y'all. Let him go. We're going into a new chapter. Somebody say new chapter. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do the overflow after, Hario, and it's going to be called new chapter. Praying into the new chapter. Darkness. There you go. Give him something to think about. Give him something to get ready for. Yes, indeed. That's what yes, we're going to do. We're going to pray about that. We're praying Ooh. after this. Make sure you subscribe and go on because the Holy Spirit just dropped it. We're going into the new chapter, NARC Free, baby, 2023. <laughs> there you go. There you NARC go. NARC Free 2023, y'all. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> she said the, the she said he had a baby for the holidays, and I'm here feeling sad, single, and upset. He contacted me telling me he misses me. 
Wow, his supplies are narc just like him. Guys, so so often we don't want to believe. We don't want to believe. He don't want out here had a kid with somebody that's just as ruthless or more ruthless than him. And she about to make him pay. She about to take make him pay. There go Leandra. Mwah. Thanks for that super chat, Leandra. Leandra. <laughs> Leandra said, family, when you realize who you are, good God of money. When you realize who you because guys, listen, when when you're dealing with a narc, if you if if everybody gonna be straight up and be truthful, you don't forgot really who you are. You have. You have left the person that you are, the person you grew up as, the identity that you identify with. You have totally forgotten that person and become this doormat for the narcissist. When you realize who you are. Yeah. Woo, I, I promise you. I promise you. Woo, I promise you won't answer another hover. You won't be think you'll be like, whoa, whoa, guys. And I'm saying this, guys, if you listen to that voice, if you listen to the voice, I know you want to hear what they got to say. You want them to say what they got to say. Guys, you can't do that. You can't do your mind got to be made up. This ain't so. See, you don't been playing. You know, I'm gonna jump back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You straddling the fence, straddling the fence, and when you straddle the fence, this is what happens to you. Stuff like that. This is exactly what happens when you straddle the fence. Right now, you in a place where you got to make up your mind. You got to decide: Am I going to free myself from this, or, or? Am I going to continue? Am I going to free myself from this? Or am I just going to continue to live my life in a way that does not please me? It does not please God. I am not, I am not even in unity in my own body when I'm dealing with the narcissist. You're not even, you're not even in control of your own mind, your thoughts. You're dealing with somebody who is strictly working every weakness that you got every day every moment that they're with you it's a constant back and forth it's a tug of war every moment that they are with you because they're not going to give you a clean clear slate it's always going to be well what about me i i'm not like this and i don't have that and and it's always going to be an excuse, guys. They want to abuse you and then make it seem like you are at fault. You the one at fault. You know, I didn't grow up with nothing. I ain't have nothing. I had to fight my way for everything I got. All they got is a sad, sorry, poor, stinky excuse this week, just like they are. Guys, y'all keep making these people strong. The narcissist is the weakest link you're going to ever meet in your life. Yeah. Ain't nothing strong about them. <sighs> Aquarian said, the narc is upset that I discarded him because <clears throat> he said he doesn't love the new supply. So everyone says she's hideous <laughs> and she's so disrespectful. I can't believe he's with her. He became her pimp. Then got her. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, you know, at the end of the day, it still goes right down to exactly what we're talking about every single night. You're wondering how do they get in this situation? What did they do? Why, why would they make a choice like that? Right? Yeah. Every single day. Why would they make this choice over here? Listen, I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it until you hear it and you know it. You came into the relationship looking for a relationship 
the narcissist came in saying, Oh, you don't know what I am, do you? You ain't up, yo, you ain't even heard about me. Wow, you are so beautiful. You, you are so incredible. Aquarius said, pregnant. I'm so disappointed in him. He said after he lost, he said after he lost, he didn't care about anything. He told me he knows, he knows she's not a catch. Wow. He so so all he's doing is telling you he wants you to feel sorry for him. He knows she's not a catch, but he was having sex with her and, and unprotected. And he got a kid with her now, but she's not a catch. And he's telling you that. He's throwing the, the baby in your face. L listen, Aquarian, that's why I keep telling y'all. You, you keep talking to this fool. He, she's a criminal just like three baby. That, wow. Listen, 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 listen. You trying to save the world. How many of y'all remember being in that? Being in something where you oh. trying to save the world. It's, you know, Hario, what you were saying, I'm just still on it, like, and you're saying it right now, but the conflict within yourself. We focus so much on talking about the conflict that the narcissist brings, but the, the even I would say the self-hatred, you know, that comes with a narcissist. Every time you let yourself down, you've allowed a piece of yourself to go into the abyss of the narcissist and you try to swim through that abyss to get it back only to drown deeper and farther into the narcissistic swamp. Okay. Listen, Oh, tonight, I just like this whole being sick of it. You're, you're tired of sick and tired of being sick and tired, done with being done. Some of you have said I'm done and you picked it back up the next day. Then you pick, it's like a bad addiction. You pick it up the next day and then you feel worse. And on the good days, you remember there's this dark cloud just hovering over you because you, even when you have a moment of peace, a moment of hope, a moment of a better tomorrow, you remember what you accepted back into your life, okay? Listen, this is prep time, guys. If you That's haven't right. done it already, there's That's a right. countdown. I, don't, I feel it in the spirit, man. Like, there's about a week left for you to just get yourself ready. You know, whenever you're kicking a habit, I don't know about you, Hario, but I'll be like, okay, January 1st, I'm going to, I'm going to eat clean. So you, you know, you, you eat the worst of the worst in those seven days. Some of you got to get that room. I, I'm going to give you an opportunity to release even on this, like uh, the, the ruminating, get it out. You, you want to get angry, take that pillow, scream, tear it apart, part, fluff the feathers all around the room. I don't know what you're going to do. Okay. But let me tell you, this is prep time because there are things that God wants to release in somebody's life, even tonight. Okay. But that messiness is getting in the way. If you have the stereo playing too loud, you can't hear the small, the still small voice. So God is making sure that you turn off everything, turn off your anger. Turn off your discouragement. Turn off your self-doubt. Turn it off. It's a loud noise. And God said, I'm trying to talk to you, boo. Okay? So listen, this is prep time. Prepare your household. Prepare your spirit. Prepare your soul. Prepare it. your mind and your heart because God wants to bless somebody. I feel I, it. I love it. I, I like how you put that one down right there. Look, Aquarius said, I meant... She got pregnant, not me. He's known as a snitch in New York and moved to North Carolina, found her on the website and blames me, blames me for him getting her pregnant because I said I didn't want him. Come on. He's my first at 21, 11 years. So, okay. At the end of the day, I understand that's a bond you had with him. He's your first, you know, and, you know, but at the end of the day, Y'all been together 11 years. I, I bet you they were not 11 good years. I could bank on it not being 11 good years at all. And and I'd, I'd be willing to say you ain't get a good year out of that. You've been wow. putting up with it. You've been going along, trying to keep it together. Guys, listen. That's what a narcissistic relationship looks like. It looks like struggle. It looks like work, hard work. 
somebody telling you a relationship is work yeah yeah you, you, they're, they're talking about with a narcissist they're not talking about with an empath it's going to be hard work don't tell nobody your business keep hmm. your family out of your business keep everybody out your business because if you were the narcissist this is how it's going to be yeah. it, this is exactly how it's going to be you're going to be dealing with people no you're not going to be dealing with people because the narc wants to make sure you don't tell nobody how i treat you don't go over there telling your girlfriends don't go over there telling your your buddies don't go telling your family that we went through this and that we went through that and this happened and that happened see that's how you know when you're with a manipulator yeah because they see guys when you live right you don't care what they tell somebody you can go and tell them but make sure you tell right. them what you did if you're gonna tell them what i did just make sure you tell them what you did that's right because okay? i know right. anybody that's reasonable gonna understand that's all you say anything that i've ever done but please tell the whole story that's all i ask that's it guys we're in a place right now like alicia was saying you know you're building yourself up getting ready to prep for a new year start today start right now Dang. wait till january 1st mm -hmm. oh see that's the mistake i used to make about dieting exactly you, like, oh, you know what next week i'm gonna start this new diet no uh-uh no by the time next week get here you know picked up another five pounds eating all the worst stuff that you could possibly eat before you say okay i'm gonna diet and then it's like hey you don't even really notice you want to get your mind right guys mm. you got to start to wean yourself off of this crazy toxic situation with these people that is never going to get better it's you don't have a chance at being what you want to be with this person this person is not in your life for you to benefit for you to feel good they're not there for that this person is simply there for how they can benefit what's going to make them look good yep okay i said narcs isolate your life <laughs> no more family no more friends no new friends no move you take a pass on your job huh you lose yourself completely and your brain and body screams at you through dysfunction and that's exactly how it goes you will sit back and look at yourself and guys that's the thing you're doing while you're with a narc you're constantly at odds with yourself you're constantly questioning yourself like Chalang, i know this fool is not trying to do this to me i know this i know you're not trying me like that and you're trying and you're talking to yourself because you're trying to get it and run it through your mind and keep running it reverse then you run it forward then you run it to this side and you run it to that side because mm -hmm. you know the narc is going to take the truth and dismember it you know the narc is not going to have a fair conversation with you and you're trying to think about how you can trap them into having some integrity while you two are having a conversation and it's not going to happen no it's not a narc is never they are never going to have integrity and just be like oh yeah 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 you know what you right you know, I didn't mean that. And, you know, this is this and that is that. Then it's never going to happen, guys. Never. Never going to happen. They come to your life for that. They came to your life with a total, with a mind to totally destroy you. You're here to love, to live, to enjoy your life. You're here to have your children, have your family, and show everybody around you as much love and happiness as you can. A narcissist is here to try to achieve things so that they can say, I got something you ain't got. Because everything about them is about jealousy. It's about envy. It's about working situations against people. It's all about manipulation. 
Wow, Aquarius said he used to hit me if I didn't want to have sex with him. Wow, didn't do what he wanted. So he's 11. Yes, weren't good. Hey, I already know. I already know. And that's another thing, you know, when you get to listen, <laughs> guys, listen, listen, people that, that will hit you, if you're with a man that will hit you, if you're with a woman that will hit you, guys, this ain't the first time they've done that. No. They hit people. Yeah. They believe in a physical altercation and they believe that that's how they'll settle things if you don't see it their way. They're like, hey, look here. I might not be able to reason with you, but I'll punch you. And when yeah. you're dealing with people like that, remember, guys, guys, that's all you're ever going to have. That's all you're ever. It's never going to move out of that lift that level right there. You're thinking, hey, you know, we don't got in the church, and, and now we're going this, and we're going to. And as soon as they get you behind them closed doors. We're going right back to the cussing, the dogging you, spitting on you, fighting you, hitting you. Anything goes. Anything goes. The narcissist is going to do what the narcissist is going to do. That's why sometimes I'm like, why are we so shocked? It, it's a matter of where they are in the spectrum. They can pimp you out. They can slap you up your side of your face. They might not even touch you, but they'll psychologically mess you up. They're going to find where they can go to break you the most, but their motive is always the same. Every time. Every time, guys. The, it's the exact same blueprint. The blueprint is destroy as many people as possible. Okay? These people are here to love, live, enjoy life, and they actually trust people. Okay? You have at least, and that's the that's how they get in. Because we trust people. You know why we trust people? Because we're trustable. Yes, we're trustworthy. So we think that is our number one downfall. The narcissist is not like you and me, okay? The narcissist right. is not like us. They're an entirely different species. They see the world through a whole another dysfunctional lens. And so the sooner you believe that, like you would think like there's like they have no social like etiquette like they have no they they don't know how to take what is it social cues they take everything as a threat to their position in the totem pole of life you know everything means something everything is a, under undergirding of an attack about to happen upon their life okay this is why they can't keep friends this is why they're so mistrustful because deep down they know they're they're not worthy of any type of friendship and if you can't be my friend then you must be my enemy and if you think we're friends they hate you for even thinking that they could possibly be friends with you <laughs> you see that it's, it's, it's backwards <laughs> it's like and, and you know what backwards when you find yourself in that circle with them you're sitting there you when you're dealing with a friend that's a narcissist mm -hmm. Yes. You, I would call them a friend of me. But when you deal with that, they're always looking for a way to do something shysty to you. They like to lure you in just to let you down. That is the biggest, they get the biggest kick out of that. Oh, if true. I could just trick you into make you thinking that I'm going to do something nice for you. Oh my goodness, they get the most out of all that, guys. If they can make you think that they care about, oh no, 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 we cool. You, you know, we friends, we this, we that. And at the end of the day, everything has to be on, on them. They have to be the star, they have to be the light in the group of in their group of friends, they have to be the center of attention. Yeah. Or Anybody who is trying to take their shine, they don't like that person. They mm -hmm. will look, hey y'all, look. They don't like that person, but they'll pretend to be your best friend. There you go. They'll walk, look, look, while while they're there, they it's all smiles. Give hey, 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 yeah, man, what's good? How you feeling? And the moment after they leave, 
they got something mm-hmm. slick they're going to say about that person and they're going to call that person phony. Now, you know, they, I, I'll tell you about it because they are not going to share that limelight. They're not going to share that stage. Okay. They are the most, they are the, again, they're the weakest link. So anybody that even looks like, walks like, talks like, you know, that they could be competition to them. Because remember, the narcissist is sizing up everybody around them at all times. At all times. They don't look at people as friends. They look at people as competition. Okay? You walk into the room and you have your spouse, everybody's spoused up. The narc is walking in the room saying, oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Oh, I like you too. They're in the room sizing people up. They're in the room looking for who they want to date, who they trying to, you know, creep to the side with. They want to prove to themselves that what they think about themselves, that grandiosis is true. So everything they do is like, okay, you know what? They will, they could have a friend talking about frenemies, a boy, if you will who's, you know, dating somebody and just to to believe that they are the king of whatever, king of kings, king of the brothers, king of the homies or whatever, they'll try and go around the corner and mess with your girl just to prove to themselves that Mm. what they think about themselves is correct. Do you get what I'm saying? You have a female that will just mess with your man just so in their mind it will perpetuate what they already believe about themselves. And 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 man. and go out for breakfast, brunch with you the next day. Like it ain't nothing. What's your man? Like it ain't nothing. And like, she's smiling, talking to you on the phone. And man, these people, it doesn't get more wicked than them. They <laughs> absolutely <laughs> they, the stuff that you see on TV, that's who they get to make to write that stuff because yeah. they have so many experiences with you know robbing and stealing from people right in their circle. My girl Adrian said, I'm desperate for peace and freedom. I crave intimacy, friendship, and being kind again. Mm. I'm mean and frustrated now. Whoa, you know, you got to back up off of that, Adrian. You got to back away from that. You can't let somebody, listen, guys, just because you dealt with a person like that, it doesn't mean that, you know, you turn into that. No, because that's all they wanted you to do. That's what they wanted you to do in the first place. They wanted you to feel some type of way. They wanted you to be hurt. They wanted, guys, listen, if they get to walk away from the transaction, knowing that you're bitter, you're angry, you're full of hatred, then you're just like them. They're bitter They're angry. They're full of hatred. They are full of absolute hatred. They hate you. Anybody that can be jealous of you, that's hatred, guys. That's not being friendly. That's hatred. That's, I don't, how do you get that? How, what you doing? How did you, I deserve that. I should have had that. How you, what you doing with it? I don't want to it's, that's their way of saying, I don't want to see you with that because I don't how, like how it makes you look good. That's the spirit of jealousy. That's what they're saying. They're saying, and I can't compete with you. It, when it, you got that. You see, that jealous mentality, it drives the narcissist. It's what they lead with. It's their motivation. When they wake up in the morning, the reason why they, the, whatever they're going after, it is driven by jealousy, anger, c- hatred, what all that type of stuff. It might, they might appear as though they're whole, it might appear as though they're a healthy person, but they're not. And the problem is, is like, it's like even when you look at Cain and Abel, they were brothers, okay? I don't think Abel knew that Cain was going to rise up and be the, the victim of the first murder in the Bible. Okay, I don't think he realized that what he was dealing with was this the satanic influence. Some of us, 
don't realize that 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 spirit is not just operating in romantic relationships. It could be with your own sibling, your own flesh, your own child, your own mother, father. Like it is so crazy that this is why we require a spiritual fortress around us because just like Abel, Abel didn't know, didn't have any inclination. It's Eve had no inclination that that devil was up in the up in the serpent. Okay, the mm. only one that knew when the enemy had entered an individual was Jesus Christ. When he saw Ooh. Judas, and it says the enemy went into Judas. God is telling the story, y'all. He wants to give us eyes to sit there and be able to see the spirit creeping into our very vicinity, whether it be our circle of friends, whether it be in our families, whether it be in a, in a marriage, a relationship, a baby baby mama, a baby father. And you've got to yield to the Holy Spirit to take, like Dario said, authority over it and say, yes, you're not going to claim my heart. You're not going to cause me to reflect your anger, your wrath, your bitterness, and it's going to take everything within you. And it's going to take strength and power from on high. And that's Absolutely. fact. And the sooner that you get that realization is the quicker you're going to move into your healing process and get your life back again. But this is the thing. Some people forget what it's like to live, Hario. Some people uh, have forgotten. Ooh, like some. Some. Listen, listen. When you're dealing with a narcissist, you, you basically what you're saying is you walk into a room and you took a coat hanger and you hung your life on that coat hanger and stuck it in the closet because you're not going to be with a narc and enjoy your life. Okay. No. That listen, listen. That you you breaking all the rules with that one. You're breaking all the rules. My girl. Quarian is on some tonight. She oh, said, I took the knock to church. He cried at good God. <laughs> Y'all see what I'm saying? He cried at the altar for years, but now he's living a life of crime, thinking he's big meat. <laughs> wow. Listen, he probably cried at the altar, Aquarian, because he knew you were watching. That's he it. knew you were watching. We think they're having this real encounter with God. When they really know that your eyes are on them and they got to play that role because they want to get Sunday dinner and get back in the crib by That's the end it. of the Sunday service. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it was. Because if it was really there. God, because if it was really God, then, you know, know what? He wouldn't be going back to those ways. Listen, God, sure. is, God is not a joker. He's not a clown. When he no. delivers you, he delivers you. When he rescues you, he rescues you. If a person saves your life, you're about to, you fall out of a plane into that ocean and you're drowning. Nobody's reaching for you and someone reaches you. 90, 100% you're going to owe them their life. Okay, listen, when you have an encounter with God, you owe it, for, even for yourself, but you owe it to God to live your life to the fullest. Period. Mm. This life ain't a joke. Are you no. kidding me? No. No, no not, not at all. And you know something? That's actually proof that. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. That is actually, guys, that is actually proof when you see a narcissist in a church and they showing out and they just really caught up and they having this church, this come to God moment. See, that's proof they don't even respect the church. That's that's proof that they don't even respect what's right. They don't respect God. Because if they did, if they did, you know, they're going to make a change. They're going to do something to show I'm really not this wretch yeah. that you think I am. Guys, good people are good people. And they're consistent. Bad people are bad people and they are consistent. That's how you know the difference between the two. And, Every and, time. And repentant people will make it up to you. Has a narcissist ever made it up to you on a consistent basis? Do they really make it up to you or do they just regurgitate the, you know, the script, the sorry, feel sorry for me script, okay? Listen, 
a person who is truly repentant and truly is asking for forgiveness, oh my gosh, they will find ways to sacrifice and make it up to you. Narcissists aren't sacrificing jack diddly squat. Okay? Look, my girl a, uh, Ariana said, I can say tonight that I'm tired of being jealous of him. Mm. Hard to believe that the new supply is getting way worse. Wow. You know, Ariana, I would not say it if we did not have so many people coming right through the chat to share exactly what the new supplies get. You just don't see it. That's all. And it's set up that way. See, what you got to understand is that first and foremost, when you go through a breakup in a relationship, that the most painful thing in that relationship usually is that person cheating on you. Okay? Because that's something that's dealing with your self-worth at that point. Now yeah. you're questioning your own worth. And he's over here with this other person, and you're under the assumption, okay? You're under the assumption that, wow, they're happy. He doing all of this for her, and she's doing everything for him. So it's no reason for them to be at odds. It's no reason for them to, to be upset. It's no reason for them to not be happy. That's right. But you don't see. What you do not see is that it's set up that way so you see what they want you to see. You're looking at, oh, wow, it must be this because that's how it was when it was with you. That's how you would do it. If you were with somebody else, you would be happy. You wouldn't be somewhere to be upset. You can't imagine what they're going through because – you're thinking to yourself, ain't no way I'm going to go from this hell to another hell. It's that's no right. way. But that's just it, guys. You keep on thinking that you, you understand how narcs think. They're not thinking like you. They're not thinking about that. If he all he wanted was to be in a happy, loving relationship, he could have stayed with you for that. Okay? But, yeah, that's right. He wanted something else, right? It was something else about this other woman that was so perfect. It's something about her that's so perfect that he'd been waiting his entire life to meet this woman, right? She's superwoman. She came flying out the sky to meet this guy. He just so happened to meet her while he was with you? Wow. How, how do you meet the love of your life while you're in a relationship with somebody? How do you do that? How you do you will argue. Draw that, have that kind of energy to attract that in your life. Mm -hmm. Listen, stop, stop beating yourself up about it. Walk away and trust that just like any time you've done something wrong, you were penalized for it, you got the karma for it, trust that he's getting the same karma. That's life, and that's how it works. Aquarian is back. She is feeling it. She said, because the new supply is on welfare, he called me a spoiled brat because I said, I don't want him, and because I have two master's degrees, <laughs> I work for that. She laid on her back. Hey, hey, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, my main man, Lawless. What's up, champ? Thanks for the super chat. Lawless said, don't look back. <laughs> they knew the pain that they was inflicting. God got them. <laughs> Show no mercy. Get no mercy. You see that? Did y'all hear what my man Lawless said right there? Show no mercy. Get no mercy. Amen. Y'all somewhere thinking the narc is somewhere getting mercy and is happy and, and, and loving and everything and you're wrong you're absolutely wrong they're not somewhere happy and, and guys the happiness is with the only thing that the narc could be happy about 
is the, the fact that they're bringing you through a whole bunch of craziness. They're bringing pain into your life. That's the only thing that can make them happy. Aquarius said, I'm angry because I allowed me to hurt me. That's right. That's right. Oh, man. My dark thinks that he's the smartest one in the room. Always. And discredits, discredits people, people's accomplishments. Yeah, because he ain't accomplished it. That's all. The new supply and the narc always fight. Wow. They always fight the police being called. He thought I was he thought I was his escape plan, but I discarded him. He said, We're Romeo and Juliet. Listen, 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 listen. Aquarian. This dude has already shown his hand. He's already shown his hand. See, yeah. you went through all this mess with him, but you're still entertaining that fool. And he feels like I can do what I want to do. I can take you through this, that, and whatever. Because in his mind, the way he feels is, he feels like, I know you love me. He, yes. he, he's saying the same thing you're saying. He's like, I was your first. You always going to come back to me. You always going to let me in. No matter what I do. And he's out here living foul as he as foul as he can as he can he it doesn't stop he won't stop it's not going to stop Woo! you ready for the overflow <laughs> i'm ready for listen you ready for the overflow i'm always ready i stay ready y'all we stay ready i was just i was just pl putting it together right now to tell you the truth why are you ready for the overflow tonight like we about to get it started we about to get we about to jump on out because i got to get in here oh man got a christmas party i gotta oh you got stuff you got plans all right listen y'all we're gonna get together on christmas though family we're gonna for get together on christmas i'll put i'll post the time listen everybody again what time is it? here in unity and we are going to keep pushing. I want everybody in here tonight. I want y'all to go. Uh, Alicia's about to start the overflow. I want y'all to go ahead over there, hit that like button to get everybody warmed up. She gonna pray. She is gonna blow this house up with this prayer tonight. Okay. Listen, <laughs> you guys. Right? <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all better get ready, y'all, because when we come, we don't just come to. We're not. This isn't entertainment. We're going into spiritual warfare. If you're desperate for it, if you want it, it's going to be tested tonight. Understand that your prayers are not in vain. They are so being sown in the spirit realm, and you will see it come to pass through the power of Jesus Christ. That's why I'm putting it in right now. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, if the spirit is, is drawing you, be obedient. We don't know what's going to happen. We never know what's going to happen because God is in control. We are just submitting ourselves to what God is doing, okay? So please go and subscribe right now. Make sure you go and like already before we even get started. I just started it. Um, it's up. It's just gonna, We're going to start in a few minutes. So make sure you come on over for those of you who need added support. We're going into the midnight hour, okay, guys? There you go. There you yes, go. Look here, y'all. This woman got your back, man. She gonna, she is going to pray for you. Uh, how, many, how many people know somebody you can just go to and they're going to pray for you, man? Uh, listen, listen. Get If you ain't connected, you better go get connected. Amen. You better go get connected. She ain't playing. Uh, she, she working for God. She doing God's work. She working <laughs> for God. We all are okay. Girl, she, it's not in it's not in Clubhouse. It's on Alicia's page. She about to start yes, a live on, on right YouTube, here, guys. On YouTube, right here on YouTube. I'm, okay. I'm putting it in the, chat. in the chat. And as soon as I end this, she's going to put the link back in there again. Thank okay, you, guys. guys. I'm gonna see y'all Christmas Day, man. Merry Christmas. I want y'all, man. Look here. We're gonna do something on Christmas morning. Because I want everybody to feel good Christmas morning. All right. Please. And, and I might find I might see you guys on Christmas too. Okay. So make there sure. Come on and in. And Mario, listen, Merry Christmas, my brother. You Merry are Christmas. amazing. Absolutely. I can't wait for what God's gonna do in this platform. 
And even whatever we're doing here, we know God's doing something. So we're just going to get ready for it, okay? Just keep on working with it. It's coming. Thank you so much for coming in here, hanging out with us. Thank hey, you. guys. Peace and soul train. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to see y'all on Sunday. The overflow starts in the next minute. Next minute. Got to Ooh. go. Deuces. Thank you.